Welcome back. This is Unfinished. We finish Unfinished Matters. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Do not forget to follow me on all social media platforms. Today, we're talking about the 15% imposed tax on content creators. On to our third question, do you think the proposed tax is going to slow down the rate of digital content creation? Let me know what you think in the comment section at y254 hashtag unfinished. Definitely, because it will be something that if you don't have money, you can't, you just can't do it really. And even if you do, you'll, uh, you'll be earning little from what you're doing. So it will definitely slow the, the content creation amongst the youth and other people. It was slow, Kabza. What we got and we shall go, we get no endem jengo, maisha yonini, jusasa. Let me, let me, let me pass it. Mi kama last last month siku toa content vizuri nikapata ilikuwa 6k sa ebu 6k to 15% kwa hiyo 6k yenye nilipata kwa hiyo staff hasa hapo nitalipa rent na nini sitabidi sana ni give up na hiyo staff ninge kwa staff zingine huko nje if the tax will be imposed and the government use it to help the content creators that would be that would be so wise and helpful but if the tax will be taxed and the other side of the content creators they see nothing is going on it's the same old i think it would not be fair but if the tax is to help the content creators i think that's very nice but the government should also consider on how big is their artists if they go by 15 percent i say yes Yes, because one thing is we still don't have an exact uh, figure for what the, the content creators should be getting, yeah? Or how you're supposed to be getting this, 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 uh, this cash. So when you still don't have a really um, stable way of getting your income, how are you going to be able to maintain that taxing? Yeah, I think it will slow the, the creation of digital creation because content creators what ends up afraid to create content because they think, what's the need now? So when you are like hard working, what ends up afraid to create content because they are and it's not right for them. So I think uh, the proposed tax is going to is not going to be good for them. It has slowed down the content creation, and you know content creation. Like, the, uh, does the government expect youths to be out there stealing, uh, stealing from people? I'm creating content, which is actually like trying to employ themselves. So, me know now, it has slowed down. I don't know much about the tax, but I would say if, if there's a threshold, meaning like if there are people below a certain income who are not going to be taxed, I don't think it would affect the nini, the the advancement of the digital content creation. But if it's everyone who's in digital content creating who's going to be taxed, that's a problem. But if it's, if it's after a certain point where you're making this amount of money, you're going to be taxed, okay. But everyone, no, that's a problem. I really don't think it is going to slow it down. Eh? What is happening is eh, a few years ago, this Mambaya online Aikwa in Ajuli Kanaza. So what we have here, Wakijua Kunado. And uh, how are we going to do in such things? Lazimo are going to do in such things. What it's going to do is that everybody who is going now to venture into online will be really careful and know that I'm starting, it's a business, so I'm, I should be ready to pay tax. So, in as some way, it may slow down, but on the other hand, it's going to give us, uh, uh, it's going to give us my content creators when you are going to kill. At a Juani Kianzai biz, Lazima ni pay Gava, Doyake, Nata Mimi ni Jedo Yangu ni Gani. It's not, it's 50-50 it's from where I sit. No, maneno digital it and the lea vizuri sana. Because sahi kila mtu wako, kila mtu wako na independent yake, hata uki sikia, hata mimi, nisikia nitakuwa na my channel. Bora tu nitatimiza yale government imesema, nilipe yo 15%. Okay, yes, kwa wenye wananzia ineza, hapo government yangalia kidogo, labda kwa mtu wananzia ineza kuwa, labda iko juu, hapo wataangalia maneno, but kila mtu wa garamike. Tulipe tax so that hii nchi yetu tuinue, tunataka mabarabara mazuri, tunataka uchumi nikienda pale ninunue unga ikue affordable, yani tu, tufanye maisha yetu ikue poa.
tulipe tu tax vile tu government inasema watu walipe tax yeah, na nita support the government of the day watu walipe tax yes because now people will see if i show off my money uh, by chasing clout uh, the government is going to tax them so they will start hiding what they do or even they will do what they are doing but they pretend they are poor yet they have money yeah it's going to slow because uh, there are these upcoming uh, content creators the moment they see they are getting taxed like these others these others are getting taxed watakuwa ile like hawa kubwa wanakuwa taxed yet they are complaining what about sisi wenye tuna the upcoming like atujianza ku earn vile wana earn so they'll be like what if we are taxed how will we benefit so they'll opt for other options rather than uh, being content creator so it has slowed down very much i think it has slow but bado kiangalia inaweza kusa ku slow juu kitu tu anahitaji tu kufanya ni kuchukua camera na already wako nazo hizo equipment wako nazo ili wafanye hizo vitu wanafanyanga so inaweza kata bado ku slow eh what yet to be the kwa kufanya content zao eh yeah, yes then it has slow i think uh, as for now yes because there are young kenyans who or young content creators who bado wajafika at a point where wana earn as much because you see maybe for youtube there are some pms uh, rates that uh, as a kenyan or if you are in africa utapata iko low but then if you are in the western side of the world iko high so what do you do with that uh, first you need to uh, engage youth and content creators about uh, financial knowledge and then after that una sasa unaanza ku impose hizi vitu because you can you cannot just wake up one day uambie tutakuwa tuna tax the uh, the amount of people who uh, wanapata do mingi sana through content creation ni kidogo lakini wale wenye wana wako huku chini wenye wana, wanaenda wana dance pale tiktok we've seen aziad mali ametoka kama si uh the outreach of the people when you alipata through engaging and all that then hange hange kuwa mali yako but then with the knowledge maybe alienda akaongea na some people waka mu advise on what to do with the money not flaunting it kwa youtube ama instagram ama where tiktok then hiyo imemsaidia ndio utapata uh, juzi amenda budget jumping so these are the things that maybe uh, you th- should be advised and uh, the tax itakuwa imesaidia Kenyans but then as for now i think bado atuko mahali we are supposed to be slowing down not really cause most content creators that's all they have you know that's all they have there's no it's not a side hustle it's their main hustle so whether you impose a tax or not guys will still produce content the thing is people will fight the tax people will voice their opinions about it but it won't stop content creators from making content because that's their daily lives niache kuunda content so ni la lenza jukuna tax yeah it makes sense it is because some digital creators just enter yeah they entered the trend they jumped on the bandwagon for the sake of it they just wanted to be seen out there to brag they have a they have ig channels they have youtube channels but when the taxing comes i think they'll feel the pinch because maybe they didn't expect it to be as it is i think it's actually going to slow down the growth of digital creation because some content creators are just starting from scratch and then you might also find that most content creators do not have the right facilities to do this unaweza pata mtu probably ameomba camera and uh, ameomba ring light they probably got it at a price and then on what they're actually going to earn they're going to be taxed 15% i feel like it's a bit too much unless the government wanted to intervene and help them with the capital or probably provide them with a forum on to our last question do you think content creators should pay tax let me know what you think in the comment section i, I don't think so cuz um it's basically for entertainment yeah i don't think uh, cuz most of the content creators or some they they get their own resources for example a house where they can create the content they literally have to fend for themselves i guess not like people who work who have offices who have so i i think they should not pay tax wasilipe bana 
Sasa utalipa aje ni oleji umepewa na God. Eh, yeah, utalipa aje akili. Yaani wewe umefikiria unakuja hapo na simu yako ama umeomba mtu kamera una unalipa taxi ya nini? Ya kazi gani? Isaidie nini? Yeah. Do, si siezi siezi taka yani hadi hiyo kitu ipitishwe kabisa. I think they should pay according to what they earn. And maybe the government should forgive, <laughs> maybe should say, let's say, up to this point is when you should start paying tax. I mean, Alilia, the, the upcoming content creators, because I know they struggle to get to a point, yeah? They should, if there is a good platform for them getting away, um, enough cash to do that. If there is, um, what do you call it? You see, for example, like we have somebody's a Monday to Monday kind of person, Monday to Friday uh, working person. They know at the end of the month I have this. As a content creator, you're not sure <laughs> how your month will grow. So before that is made, before they have like a stability on how content creators are supposed to be getting their pay, they should do some consideration before they pass the bill. Uh, I think content creators should pay tax in accordance to the facilities the government is offering. Like let's say, um, uh, healthcare, such kind of facilities, but facilities, uh, but co uh, according to their own content, their own content, yani, cre uh, content we may create, they shouldn't be taxed, they shouldn't pay taxes in accordance to that. Like any of its other facilities, yes they can. I'm going to go back to my third point. If you make money beyond a certain amount through content creation, it's only fair for them to be taxed. So yeah, I'd say yes, up, up, up to a certain income. But below that, no, I don't think it's fair. They should pay tax. No one is above the law. Days of impunity are over. The same way president is saying he's going to lead from the front by paying taxes, no one is above the law. Yes, pay taxes for this country. We need roads. We need electricity. We need schools. So if, if people are being taxed from their payrolls, why should you not pay tax? Who are you? You see, this celebrity thing has gotten to us into a situation where there are some people who believe they should be exempted, but I don't think they should. Pay tax the normal way. The other, if, if, if our officers pay taxes, why should you not pay tax? You are making money. Even the Bible says, give Caesar what belongs to Caesar and remain with the rest. It's all about planning yourself. Be ready for a regime where people will be taxed for us to be able to move. Yes, so they should pay taxes, they should not resist. What they should do, if I was, maybe if I was advising them, they should come together and say, if maybe you are starting, maybe you are for starting, the 15% should be negotiable. But if you're already there, you have, your channel has over 400,000 subscribers and you're making money, pay us 15%, give fruit of 15%. The president is going through a lot. Even if you look at him right now, you'll see this guy is stressed. He's wondering where to get money. Yes, our debt sailing is, is above. Most of our debts are maturing. So let them pay taxes. For those who are starting, let there be a negotiation. Let them come together. Let them learn financial literacy. Even if you make 20 million, don't show us. Ata kama nasikia kule Tanzania wanasema ni kutafuta kiki. Zitafuta kwa werevu. Uki zitafuta wakati kama huu, utaumia we mwenyewe. Si ati walipe, ata wangekua wameanza kulipa jana. Ata si yoti tunagoja ati watakuja kulipa, wangekua ata wameanza kulipa jana. Because hii inchi tunataka watu wanalipa ushuru, ndiyo wote tu, tuendele mbele. Si ati ati yaa watu ndiyo wanafawa lipe tax, ati oo oh, watu wanauza magari kwa bazaa ndiyo wanalipa tax, oo oh, watu wenye wakona maaduka kubwa. Kila mtu kutoka juu hadi chini, tuinuane tu ki bottom up, mtu wote alipe tax. Anybody who has money and is generating money from what they are doing should pay tax. Doesn't matter if it's a content creator, so long as you are generating money on what you, business you are doing. Uh, but the thing that makes people not pay tax, you pay that tax, but that tax is just going to pay the wage bill for the parliamentarians. You know, it would be good we pay tax and you see what that tax is doing. I've not seen what that tax is doing. You go to hospital, there's no medicine, uh, public schools, uh, they are like children all over, they are lacking uh, amenities. You know, you pay tax, and see what that tax is doing. As for now, with the current situation, I think no. Because, uh, as I've said, uh, there are people who are living in Poj, and there are others who 
kuwa not kuna wale utapata bado wako mjengo kuna wale after mjengo anaenda anafanya ka tiktok yake pale ama after this anaenda anafanya youtube yake pale but then if we had uh, this financial knowledge then maybe the government could tax these content creators but then wewe unaona wana front money pale kwa youtube why si ati wanatafuta mass following pale they are not doing that they are just trying to show people that kuko na pesa lakini in pale wameshaomba loans and this is the money probably they are showing us so we really have to engage the youth and uh, see government kwa mka one day and they are like wacha tuweke because kuna wale watu wapati na kuna wale wanapata na wale wanapata si wengi kama wale wenye wapati well if everyone else is paying tax I think content creators should pay tax but not 15%. See not 15%. Um first una una fa ku check him sana ana ana how much na check it because not every content creator is earning the same every every end of the month. Others are earning different amount. So it should it should vary. Na if I kwa 15, 15% is like everything bana. Yeah, so kuna shida kidogo mahali. They should because as i said dalia it's a job like in the other job they go out there they make shoots they get paid promotions but you see them they're eating it tax free well the other kenyan the normal mananchi is going getting their 15000 10000 then they are taxed heavily they should be taxed should content creators pay taxes i have two sides on this one of them is yes because as a normal kenyan who's actually earning i feel like you should be willing to contribute a part of it for development of the country and also to pay off them debts right and then secondly uh, i feel like this is intellectual property as much as they want to tax us it shouldn't be you shouldn't be paying that much to showcase your talent or show out your creativity right we have come to the end of the show thank you for watching i am your host sk gitonga let's meet here same time same place see you then